my YouTube crew what to it do. It's your boy TJD05, man. They are back with another video, man. And in today's video, man, we got another episode. Excuse me, y'all. Right, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. That's just serious. Why I talk about it. my two favorite NFL teams, the Miami Dolphins and the Denver Broncos, the good, the bad, the strength, the weakness, all that good stuff. But don't you hesitate to send in your questions about your favorite team, your favorite player, or your favorite NFL subject, man. You can send your questions in to T J underscore 305 underscore gamer. That's my Instagram. Or my Twitter at the real TJ305, man. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on. And most of all, if you like it, then you need to put a thing on it. You know what Beyonce said? If you like it, you need to put a ring on it. If you like it, then you need to put a thing on it. Put a thing on that like button, boy. For your boy, man. Also, don't forget, at 200 subscribers, y'all, we got the TJ305 headband giveaway and a twenty dollar cash giveaway, man. My birthday is August second, y'all. All I'm asking for y'all to try to get me to five hundred subscribers, man. If we can't go to a thousand, that'll be good. I'm asking y'all to get me to five hundred to a thousand subscribers by August second, my birthday, man. That'll be the best birthday gift ever, man. And also, um, I was making another video which I messed up from the other night about my munching giveaway. So y'all stay tuned for that. So, with all that being said, let's talk about it, man. Today, let's talk about it will be about my first question that I got. I've been telling y'all to send y'all questions if y'all have any questions. Um, I really want to make this about the subscribers and the viewers. I want to ask, I want to be able to answer y'all questions too as well. Well, I want to talk about it, man. That's why I'm telling y'all to send y'all questions, man, to my Instagram and my Twitter, man. I make it put them in a video just like this. I answer a question live on a video just like this. So with that being said, y'all, let's talk about it, man. Today's subject will be about my first question. Shout out to Energy87, the buddy of mine. Who's like, man, I see you doing your show. I see you trying to grind, man. Let me go ahead. I'm going to stop sitting back. I'm just tired of sitting back and hearing you say sending your questions. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm sending my question. So the first question that we got, but let's talk about it, man. I'm proud of it. We're going to break it down piece by piece. He said, with David and Joku going to the Cleveland Browns and requesting the trade, do you think the Miami Dolphins should go out and try to trade for David and Joku? And if so, how would it fit in the team? We're going to break it down piece by piece. With David and Joku going to the Cleveland Browns and requesting the trade. Now, David and Joku is... A, 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 a good tight end, man. But David and Joku has not been able to stay on the field. His problem since he's been drafted out of the University of Miami. Shout out to the U, my favorite college team. You got known from Miami. Um, his problem has been staying on the field, man. David and Joku showed flashes when he was able to stay healthy. He made some amazing catches. But his problem is not producing. The problem is staying on the field. So, actually, I thought David Njoku was going to bend ask for a trade when I seen that the Cleveland Browns went and got Austin Hooper from the Atlanta Falcons in the free agency. I was like, hmm, David Njoku's not going to be happy about that. But he stayed quiet. He stayed quiet. And I guess during these little virtual meetings, I guess that the coaching staff maybe has been showing... Um, Officer Hoover, like more attention, and we're gonna have him involved in the offense and and and, and have David David and Joku at that second tight end. And I don't think Joku was happy about that. Cause Joku, if he can stay healthy, man, is a starting tight end in the NFL, man. He's like that that receiving tight end, man. I don't know how good he is in blocking, but he's like that receiving tight end, man. Like he can get open, man, down up the seams. Um, he could pretty much run any tight end route you need him to run. He's athletic. He's an athlete. So, um, 
Yeah, David and Joker, the only problem has been injury, man. And then you said, do you think the Dolphins should go out and trade for David and Joku? Hmm, that's a good question, man. Let's look at the tight ends we have. We have Mike Giuseppe. Mike Giuseppe. Who also has showed flashes, but he also that receiving tight end, man. Um, I don't think we have any other. I don't. I don't know the tight end room. I gotta go look at the depth chart. The only thing I know is Mike Gusecki, man. That stands out in our tight end room. So, so we able to bring in David Njoku. To me, him and Gusecki are kind of similar tight ends. They both are all those receiving tight ends, like. Um, but when I'm kind of building my franchise, like in Madden and stuff. I ideally look for like one receiving tight end and one blocking tight end, but everybody has like different schemes, and I know that kind of offense worked for like Chad or Satan, like and, and when it was in New England. So to have two receiving tight ends, like that could cause big mismatches, big big mismatches, y'all. Um, I think that a safety would be too small to cover. And then I think a linebacker would be too slow to cover both of those guys, man. So that could create big mismatches, man, in between, you know, our, our receivers like, you know, with Parker and Williams and Grant, all them guys, whatever, who are going to be starters. We'll have another video about the wide receiver room coming up soon, too. We're going to discuss our wide receiver room and who's going to be the one, two, three, who's going to be the top two, who's going to be the, the slot on slot play. We're going we're gonna to talk about all of that. But I think bringing in David and Joku could cause big mismatches on the field. Now, will they go out and trade for him? That's another question. But should they? I'm going to say, yeah, man. I'm going to say, yeah. If you got the draft pick, if you got a player, if you got something that can stand out that you can trade for David and Joku, I'm going to say, yeah, go out and get him, man. Why not? Why not, man? He adds more talent to the team. We build it. I mean, like, you could get him and, and sign him. He, he's he's a uh, UN product, so I'm pretty sure he knows Miami. Um, and yeah, man. So I think I I, I, I don't think it'd be a bad idea. So I think I kind of asked her how he fit into the scheme, and and should be the same question. Like I said, he'll be that second receiver tight end. He'll cause mismatches, and. I don't see why not, man. Tua, the, the tight end is quarterback's best friend. So if that can help Tua development and have two of those guys. And then, you know, um, figure out if we need a, a blocking tight end or we just want to use the offensive line. However that go, man, I don't think bringing in David and Joku would be a bad idea at all. I think he would really add to the team. I'm the type of guy, I, I, look, I, I evaluate whether a guy adds to a team, whether he subtracts from the team, whether he's a big distraction. I, I evaluate all that type of stuff. I do. And I think David Joku will add to the team, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section how y'all thinking, how y'all feeling about us going and getting David Joku. Not saying we will. I, I'm not reporting that the Dolphins are, but in my opinion, I think going and getting David Joku would not be a bad idea, man. That's in my opinion. I'll let me know y'all opinion down in the comment section, man. And um Yeah, that's how I feel about that subject, man. Another thing I wanted to talk about was uh I think I said some of that in the last video about they canceled the whole preseason, but I'm not sure they have yet. But um I wanna correct myself on that. If they didn't, somebody told me they didn't yet, but um if they didn't, then, I mean, I know it's, it's, it's talks about it. I know it talks about it. Like I told y'all, the NFL goes by calendar. And as times get closer for certain things, that's when you start to see certain things get, get, get canceled. It's their job to say, oh, yeah, it's still going to continue. It's still going to go on. It's their job to say that. But so far, um, I haven't seen nothing yet. And um, that's that. So that's all I got for y'all guys today, guys. 
It's your boy TJ305. Remember, we got the headband giveaway. We got the cash giveaway. We're trying to get the 200 subscribers. I would love y'all to get me to 500 to 1,000 by my birthday, man. So, with that being said, man, it's your boy TJ305. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Turn the notifications on. You don't miss a video. And if you like it, then you need to put a finger on it, man. It's your boy TJ305. I'll see y'all in the next one.